Hey guys, it's Kobe coming back at you again this week with another review. Um, I'm with Rural Bible Review. Um, so last week I missed, I had a busy week leading up to um, Saturday. I usually, um, as you guys know, if you follow me on Facebook and Instagram, I try to post pictures of what I'm reviewing the day before, which is Friday, of course. And then on Saturday is when I record my video and try to release it. So the week before, I actually had a busy, kind of busy week. Um, that Friday, I wasn't home. I left that morning and didn't get home till later that afternoon, um, which where I went, I will reveal it another time because believe it or not, it will relate to the channel and something to do with another review that will be coming up soon. But um, anyway, so I decided to do another review of another book, of a devotional type book. If you guys remember, my last review was on Be Thou My Vision from Crossway, which I absolutely love. I finished it up um, on Thursday, of course, which was March 31st, and then I just started it over, um, you know, because that, that's a resource to me you can use every day, and I, I plan on it, uh, kind of like this, uh, what we're reviewing now. I remember being introduced to Valley of Vision uh, several years ago, and I had the bonded leather edition for a long time, really liked it, uh, used it and used it and used it, and then I started seeing, I don't know, a couple of years ago maybe when uh, they, Banner of Truth announced they were coming out with more premium editions, and they have two. They have a goat skin, which is what I have here that I'm going to review, and then they have a genuine leather. Um, I haven't seen the genuine leather. I don't, I don't own it. Uh, like I say, I did own the, um, um, bonded leather and, and it was nice. It was fine. Um, you know, and if, I think it's fine if you want to get you one of those, um, you know, go ahead. Uh, you can actually, I'm looking right now on Valley of Visions, uh, banner of, well, banner of truth.org. I'm looking on their website the genuine leather right now is $63. The bonded leather is $24.30. And it's actually on back order right now. Um, I think you can get it a little bit cheaper on christianbook.com. And then um, the goat skin, it's also on back order. It's $117. And I looked around and they're just as cheap as anybody else. Let me look. Is the genuine leather... Now, the Genuine Leather is in stock, so you can get it from their website. So if you're interested, you can pick it up. But um, Banner of Truth is the publisher, and we're, we'll get into this here. Um, it comes in this super nice two-piece box. Um, as you can see, here is the ISBN. I'll let you pause it. That way you can Google and see. But this, I mean, even the box, it feels like it's premium. Um I remember picking up my Valley of Vision bonded leather. Did I get it from Christian? But I can't even remember. I want to say I got it in like, I don't remember. I, I know that when I went to Together for the Gospel in 2018, they had some there. And I was, uh, one of my friends, I was trying to talk him into getting it uh, in the bonded leather. And I told him, I said, well, I've got that one. You need to get it, you know. Um, they had that in the paperback because it also comes in paperback. But what this is, it is a collection of Puritan prayers and devotionals. Um, and like I say, just having this, th this box just even feels super premium. You know, as you guys have seen me review uh, different Bibles and stuff, um, this looks like a premium Bible box. And I mean, you know, kudos to Banner of Truth for doing it this way. That's how it should be done. But we'll put the box over here and get into this. Now, the goat skin on this, I mean, this is just as nice, if not nicer. Um, well, actually, it is nicer. If you remember, I did the uh, Crossway verse-by-verse um, -verse preaching Bible uh, a couple of weeks ago. And, you know, I talked about the goat skin on it, how it felt kind of thin. It was the Chinese produced, and it was thin. But this goat skin and this uh, calf skin liner is thicker than that Bible. And that's a premium Bible. <laughs> So that tells you something. But as you can see on the front, and just like the bonded leather, it's on the front like this and, and the genuine leather. I've seen that. Uh, you've got your gold stamping, says the Valley of Vision. 
But on the side here, you've got one, two, three, four raised hubs. You've got uh, the Valley of Vision, and you've got the Manor of Truth logo. And it does come with two um, double side. Well, I don't think they're double side, but two ribbons. Um, which my bonded leather, and I gave that away once I got this one to someone, uh, to a friend of mine. And uh, because I let her look at it and she loved it. It was somebody I used to work with and I said, well, here it's yours. You can, you can have it. Um, but this one, um, and you can see too, it's got the perimeter stitching and it's got a yap on it. Look at this. It's got a full yap. You could train that. Um, you know, and I know it's not a huge yap, but this isn't a huge book. This isn't a Bible, but we'll open it up and get inside and get to the contents. Cause that's, that's what we're here for. Cause this if you've never heard of this or never used this, please go pick this up. Um, but once you open it up, you can see this beautiful gold gilt line that goes around the design. It is edge lined. I mean, like I say, it's built just like a premium Bible. You got your presentation page, uh, your title page there. Oh, it does have gold gilding and the bonded leather does too. Uh, there's no art gilt. I, I kind of wish they would have added art gilt to it. Um, I think that would have, you know, up the ante a little bit and set it above. Uh, this page is a little thick, and then this page is, you know, feels a little thick to me. You've got your other title page. You've got your banner of truth info here. Uh, they're based out of the UK, but they have offices in Pennsylvania. Um, tells you this was first published in 1975, and then this edition was published in 2020. And there's your ISBN for your goat skin. Um, and your type setting and everything. And we're, it, this was printed in China. And then this tells you, um, says to my colleagues and students at All National, at All Nations Christian College, uh, where for 10 years fellowship in Christ. And then you open it up and it's got your preface. And, and I recommend you reading this. Um, it's from Arthur Bennett, um, who is the gentleman that kind of put this together and, and you know, and um, edited it. So, and it's got your uh, biblic bibliography on the front, uh, first few pages here. Um, so, then you turn the page, and then you've got your contents. Now, using this, as you can see, it's broke down. Uh, the first section is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and it's got all these different devotions. Then you've got Redemption and Reconciliation. Then you've got Penance and uh, de Depreciation. Um, needs and devotions, not depreciation, um, holy aspirations, approach to God, gifts of grace, service ministry, and then a week shared prayers. Now, the way I've always kind of read this, and, and some people say it's not the correct way, whatever. Um, to me, I don't know that there's necessarily a wrong way or whatever, but I, I'll go over another way you can do it here in a minute that I'm actually, I'm almost done with my read through on it this time. And I think I'm going to try this other way here in a minute. Um, but then you get to your introductory and then you turn the page and all your devotions are little two pages. Some of them are a little bit longer. Some of them are short like this. Now keep in mind, this is a Puritan devotion. So the English is from that time period. So if you grew up in church or if you read the King James um, Bible, then you know that, or the King James Version, I should say, it's not the King James Bible, King James Version, then you'll be used to reading this because it, it reads just like a King James Version. Um, I, you know, I use this as a part of my uh, devotion. And what I do, uh, not that my devotion is the right way, the way I do things, whatever, Monday through Friday, I read from this. Um, th this is how I start out every one of my devotions is with this. I start with this. Then I switch over to my Be Thou My Vision. I read it. Right now, I'm doing uh, my, you know, 40 Days of Lent. Um, or it's actually called Journey to the Cross uh, by Paul David Tripp. You know, I mentioned that before. Um, you know, so once, once that ends, I won't be reading it anymore. And then I switch over to my Table Talk magazine um, and read it. Now, I'm sure some of y'all are going, where your Bible reading come in? Well, if you'll remember my Be Thou My Vision, um, it's got in there a part where it says do your scripture reading. And the plan I'm following this year is the table talk read through the Bible in a year. Um, so that's what I use for my scripture reading. Now, on Saturdays, um, 
I'll read, you know, the, the limp book there, Journey to the Cross, which like I say, that'll soon go away. But on Saturday, I'll do my Be Thou My Vision because it's a daily thing. And then I read on the Table Talk, read through the Bible in a year, it's got the readings, it just says weekend. Like um, Monday through Friday, it's got it, one Old Testament, one New Testament. And you could divide that up however you want. You could do Old Testament in the morning, New Testament in the evening, whatever you want to do. I just do all mine in the morning. Um, that's just kind of my thing. Uh, you know, and I'll read scripture again later on in the evening or whatever, but I just like doing that part of the reading in the morning, you know, that's part of the uh, checklist, if you will. Not that I treat it like a checklist, but that's just how I do it. But on the weekend, what I do, I'll read the Old Testament reading from the Table Talk on Saturday, and then on Sunday, I read the New Testament uh, reading, and then I also do the weekend thing, because uh, the Table Talk is a Monday through Friday devotion, if you're not familiar with it. It's from Ligonier Ministries. Um, this is this month's, and here, I'll just open it up. Like, here's one of their um, ones coming up, and then, let's see. And see, like, here's the weekend. It tells you the weekend reading and everything. And I'll read this on Sunday morning and then do my New Testament reading. But anyway, that's that's just how I do it. But uh, the Valley of Vision, I just kind of read straight through this. Um, you know, and like I say, that, that's just how I do it. But, you know, you can do it however you want. But we'll, we'll talk about it a different way here in a minute. But as you can see, as I flip through here, the different, you know, links of some of these and everything. But... Um, man, this thing is something that I, I highly recommend to you. Um, I recommend reading Puritans, period. And, and I know some of the Puritans get a bad rap because of uh, slavery and things like that. And there, you know, there was some of them, unfortunately, that did believe in that. Um, you know, I, I don't, of course. I'm, you know, I think that was horrible. Um, but some of them didn't, believe it or not. There were some Puritans that didn't hold to that. So, uh, don't throw them all out. But here's the thing. Uh, not saying that, uh, you know, slavery is okay or anything, because I'm not. Please, please don't hear what I'm, you know, not saying here. Um, you can still gain uh, some insight from some of this stuff. So, uh, from some of the Puritans. So, please, you know, like Jonathan Edwards, we know what his stance was. But, you know, you can still get some good stuff from Edwards. Um you know, just my opinion, you know, just whatever you think. But anyway, if you comment or whatever, just uh, keep it civil, please. Um, but th uh, the paper on this is really good. It's the same paper that's in the uh, bonded leather. I always thought the paper was good, as you can see. I mean, there's a little bit of ghosting, you know, as I say in my Bible reviews. Um, the camera adds to the ghosting. So, uh, you know, so just kind of ignore that. But um it, it's really, you know, really, really nice. Um, this is where I'm at right now. Um, we'll get to the back here um, and see you've still got your, you know, the, your, your end sheet here the that's on the vinyl and the cardstock uh, to hold it together. And then you got your, you know, go, uh, calfskin here, liner. Um, I believe that's calfskin. I'm almost 100% sure. If not, it's a super nice vinyl lighting. But like I said, you can see the gold gilt line goes across. There's your head and tail bands. Um, I wanted the, the goat skin just because I wanted this to last. I know that over time, the bonded leather will wear out and, and they're not super expensive. You, you can buy another one, which is fine, um, you know, because they're, you know, inexpensive, but I recommend this. I've even seen some people get the bonded leather and have it, um, send it off to a Bible rebinder and have them rebinded. Um, I, I could see doing that, I, I would love to, and I may do this, I don't know, I, I really like this one, but um, I had an opportunity to see one of Jeff Rice, uh, or Jeffrey Rice, if you're not familiar with him, look him up uh, on Facebook, it's Post Tenebrous Lux, um, he does Bible rebinding, and to me, he's he's my OG, the, you know, the original guy there, the original gangsta, if you will, the original guy that does the um, rebinds that I first saw that I fell in love with, I'm sure there's other people before him, but man, he does gorgeous work. Um, but he has a new one called the Isaiah line and I could see rebinding, uh, one of the bonded leather in that Isaiah line. I think that would look good because I don't know, put you some bears for ribbons in there. Oh, it'd be beautiful. But 
I mentioned I read straight through this, but you can do another way. And the other way is this. You've got a walkthrough of, or walking through the Valley of Vision. Now, I got this from Joe Thorne. And if you guys are familiar with Joe, uh, him and uh, Jimmy Fowler have a little podcast. You may have heard of it. It's called Doctrine and Devotion. Uh, they, uh, the Joe Foe, as they call themselves, um, th that podcast is great. Um, so go, go look it up. Doctrine and Devotion. They, they're, they're, they're good guys. They're 1689 Baptist guys. But, um, Joe has this where you can go to his website. It's joethorn.net slash valley backslash valley. And he has got, um, how to walk through this. And, and the way it works is, uh, you're walking through the Valley of Vision. It's an organized approach to working through the Valley of Vision prayer book in 13 weeks using three daily appointments scheduled at 9 a.m., 12 p.m., and 3 p.m., Monday through Friday. And then he's got a link to where you click on it on where that came from. And um, you click on it, it goes to his website, um, and it's you know just an article where um, they came up with it. Um, you know, how to do it and everything, but you, there is two versions. There's a leather or a paperback. Now that's the reason why it's like that is because they're numbered different. The paperback is, you know, got different page numbers and everything, but you, uh, download the guide, um, and, you know, cut it out. Cause of course, when you print it in your printer, um, it comes out on a full piece of paper. Um, but you, um, just, yeah, you do what it says. You go through it. And what you do, um, and the reason why they say do this is because the um, they say on here, download the guy, walking through the Valley of Vision for leather-bound version recommended. Walking through the Valley of Vision paperback not recommended since um, various editions differ in page numbers. So that's the difference. Um, and besides that, it's not much more to get the bonded leather. Um, so I say just do that because that paperback is like a, it's kind of like one of these magazines, honestly, like this Table Talk magazine. I mean, you know, I use this for a month and then I put it away. I'm done with it for the month of April. I may come back later on and read an article or something in it. But, um, you know, if I use that daily every day from here on out, well, that's going to wear out. So, you know, um, yeah. But anyway, what you do, you, um, Heath recommends setting an email or a phone reminder to alert you at 9 a.m., 12 p.m., and 3 p.m., Monday through Friday. Follow the scheduled prayers by page number according to the day of the week and the time. Begin with the page numbers in the upper left and move downward each new day. So, in other words, on Monday, you would start here and you would do, you know, page 122, page 94, page 2. Then you would go downward. Um, so this would be, you know, you do those and you come over here, you do these and you come over here and do these. Um, and it says, you know, pray these prayers, do not merely read them, you know, consider these appointments in your day as intense, concentrated times of prayer and worship. And I agree with that. That's, that's, you know, really read, you know, cause the Puritans had some rich, rich theology and, and things they said and, you know, they word things a lot differently than what we do today. But <clears throat> anyway, I, I recommend this. And like I say, I'm going to start doing it this way. But um, you can, you know, cut this out. And what I do with mine, I just stick it in the back of the, you know, book here. And close it up. Fits perfectly, as you can see. Um, you could even, you know, tape it if you wanted to. Uh, it's not going to hurt this vinyl to use a little tape. Um, I, I don't. Like I say, I just stick mine back there. Uh, it's in there, but, um, you know, and it says, please keep in mind that this should not be the totality of your prayer life, but one part of it, fueling your meditation on scripture, dependency on the gospel, exercise of faith of, uh, exercise of faith in and love for Jesus. And, um, I agree with that. This shouldn't replace your, your prayers, uh, just like the vow, be thou my vision, it shouldn't replace your prayers, you know, because it's also got prayers in there from the Book of Common Prayer. And there's nothing wrong with doing it that way. But you also need to have your own personal prayer life where you pray to God 
for things that you need, uh, for needs in your life, for the forgiveness of your sins. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a, I heard it the other day on a podcast. I'm a, a three meal a day sinner, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You know, I, I need to pray for forgiveness all the time. So, but anyway, this, um, this is a great resource. Um, kind of like the, you know, the be thou my vision. I, I recommend both of them. Um, you know, so if you don't have one of these, or if you never heard of it, please go pick it up. Um, you know, th this is just something that's, that's awesome in my opinion. Uh, something that can add to your, um, walk with God. But if you have any questions or comments, let me know, please, uh, make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel. Uh, give me a follow on Facebook and on Instagram at Rural Bible Reviews. Um, you know, let me know too. Do you know have you enjoyed the past couple of reviews where I've done these devotional type books? Um, next week I'll I'll try to get back to a Bible. I've got to decide on which one I want to review next. Um, you know, I've I've got some different options and things, but um, you know, I'll I'll decide what I want to do here soon. But anyway. Um, if you have any questions, like I say, let me know. Hit me up on Facebook or Instagram. You know, give me a follow on each one of those. Uh, share the video. You know, um, I appreciate you guys just taking the time to watch the videos and listen to me ramble and talk. I know I'm not the most gifted and professional like some of these guys that's been doing this forever. Uh, but, you know, I, I try to do my best to, to glorify God in everything I do. Uh, like I say, I'm, I'm just me. So, but anyway... I love you guys. I appreciate it. And until next time, grace and peace.